welcome to another garage adventure. Today we're going to be talking about um, the basics on an e-bike. This is a uh, video primarily uh, for seniors, so I'm going to kind of keep this simple as far as uh, what a bike consists of, some of the things that you can look for, and uh, this is a 20 inch by 4 inch I'm sorry, 20 by 4 inch fat tire bike. It is a step through, as you can see, it goes down to about 11 inches off the ground. And really, you just turn the pedals to where they're not in the way, and you can step right through this bike. It's also got uh, a 750 watt rear hub motor, which you see down here. It's got 180 millimeter rotors. And it's also got a uh, 48 volt, 14 amp hour bat or, uh, battery that sits in the down tube here. You just unlock uh, it and then the uh, battery actually comes this way and you can take it out to charge it or you can charge it right on the bo bottom of the bike down here. Now this is going to be basic on most bikes. Some are going to be do designed just a little differently, but for the most part, the battery will be inside the down tube or it'll be outside the down tube. Some of them they put in the front here to where they go forward. And uh, so there's a little bit of difference on some bikes. This uh, bike also has one through five pedal assist. As you can see here, you just go up and down and it'll take you up to power, which is power assist five, which will get you about 28 mile an hour as well with the fully charged battery. Now, a uh, word of caution, when you guys get on and off these bikes, make sure this throttle is down to zero. Because if you try to step on or off this bike, uh, or if you try to go over the uh, saddle, if you hit this, that bike's gonna move on you if it's in the, any pedal assist that are engaged. So, um, you gotta make sure you're a little careful with that part. This bike has also got front and rear suspension. There's a lockout and there's adjustment. So I think if you want to ride off-road, you can adjust that to your uh, comfort level. Or you can lock it out if you're uh, riding on uh, like bike trails or road riding. You'll want to uh, more of a stiff uh, ride, shall I say. It's also got the uh, suspension in the rear as well right here. Uh, some bikes have them, some bikes don't, and it depends really on the price point of the bike. But for the most part, you're going to get dual suspension on about 60% of the bikes. Um, again, if you get up around $1,500, $1,900, you should have dual suspension on the bike. At that price point, you should definitely have that. This has got hydraulic brakes. As you can see, the uh, brake lighting uh, against here. And it's got a pretty good headlight on it. Not bad. I haven't ha don't have it on right now. Um, but it's not too terrible. And it's also got uh, hand grips. They're pretty comfortable on this bike. But for the most part, um, you can either go with uh, handlebars that come out over off a of, off the. Uh, handle stem itself or the handlebar you can now use bar end mirrors I'll put these down in the description box these are called briskmore mirrors I really like the uh, bar end mirrors better and there's preference on different people like the other style as well so some of them like them up when they come out like this on the uh, handlebar I just kind of uh, fond of these type of mirrors here but other than that, I mean, this, this is the stock seat on this bike. It's real comfortable. Now, that's going to be the first thing you're going to notice riding an e-bike, or any bike for that matter, is your butt's going to hurt for a few days. I don't care if you've got bike, bike shorts on that's got padding in it. I don't care what you do. You're going to feel it. Even if you've got a really good foam seat on here, a wider one, it's going to take your butt a couple, three days to get used to that. So be ready for that if you have not ridden a bike in a number of years. But other than that, this, this one's got a nice rack on it. This is coming pretty standard on most bikes anymore. They have the bike rack on the uh, rear for sure. Some's got baskets, some do not. 
And this bag I purchased from this company, Cyrusher, because I can put my extra battery in there. Um, I don't get the range on these batteries I did, uh, say, two years ago. So I purchased an extra battery. So if I want to do 30 to 40 miles, 50 miles, I can do that with two batteries. Probably 50 miles would be the max. So I did uh, get another battery for that. And uh, other than that, I mean, I, it's got a double ring chain ring. I like that. That way your chain don't come flying off of there if you're changing gears. But uh, other than that, plastic fenders. I don't care if they're plastic or metal. That I have no preference one way or the other on the metals or the plastic. I think they don't put the metal on them as much because of the weight and the cost of the material versus the plastic fenders. So um, that's a little different there. Other than that, this bike will do about 28 mile an hour. Um, but you'll typically, uh, most trails will only allow you to ride up to 20 mile an hour. So um, I may ride a little faster if I'm doing road riding. But again, the faster you ride on that bike, the faster it's gonna degrade your battery as well. So if you keep this down to pedal assist one or two, and you could probably get with one battery 40 miles, depending on your weight, the terrain, uh, wind resistance, there's a few factors that weigh into that. So uh, other than that, you got your horn. I'm not fond of horns. I always announce on your left or on your right. That's uh, just a preference of mine. I think the horns and the bells are annoying to people as you're getting ready to pass them. So anyway, I changed these tires out because I wore the tread out on the other tires. I rode them so much. So my buddy calls these, these tires, he calls this bike now the creamsicle because of the color. I mean, I love the color with the orange and the white. I did buy, uh, I purchased, um, Orange pedals to go on it as well, so it'll match the bike. But yeah, it, uh, this is a very fun bike to ride. But again, most bikes are basic when it comes to uh, style and design. Um, they may have components in different parts of the bike, but they're pretty much the same. So uh, keep that in mind. Price point on a good e-bike. They started as a budget bike, about $9.95, and they can go up to $3,000. I think the thirteen to fifteen hundred dollar range is probably a um, good price point on a good quality bike with good components. So uh, you just got to shop around, and as I mentioned earlier on another video, you folks definitely want to go to a local bike shop if you have not owned your first e-bike and purchase that e-bike from a bike shop because they got customer sort support's going to be a lot better. They're going to be able to work on the bike a lot better. They can get bike parts for that bike a lot faster than you can because they have arrangements with these bike companies. So, uh, yeah, you want to definitely look into buying your first e-bike at a bike shop. Um, until you get familiarize yourself with uh, the motors, the um, batteries, the displays, um, the controllers. The controller is actually the, the brain of the body. It tells the bike what to do on just about every part of it. This controller on this bike sits down in here. Uh, you take the battery out, take out a part down in here, and the, actually there's three screws right here, and that gets to your, your controller, and that's the, basically the brain of your bike. So I did add a couple additional things with my cup holder, my bar up here, my Bluetooth speaker. I got turn signals, as you can see. I don't know if you can see those on the bike. If you turn it around here a little bit, that's your right turn signal back behind the seat. This is your left. You just hit the button again. And uh, with this key fob, this key fob comes off. So if you want to uh, sit, go away from your bike, you just twist this and it pops right off. So... Um, I really like this. It's also got a horn. It's too loud. It's got an alarm. This is, uh, once it rings again, it's set. And if you push it again, that's your warning. And there's what you hear. Pretty loud, isn't it?
Uh, that's aftermarket. I'll see if I can put all these things that I purchased uh, down in the description box for you, a link to them. Um, I'll put Side Rushers link. If you do purchase this bike, um, I would appreciate it if you buy it off my bike channel because you do get a discount. I'll put the link to Side Rusher and then I think you put E-Bike Nation or something like in there and you'll get a discount on the bike. I'm not sure how much it is, but it does save you some money. This is probably, and I've ridden probably 20 e-bikes. This is, I've owned 20 of them for sure. This is probably my, my favorite of all of them. This bike I purchased two years ago, and I'll tell you, it has been a lot of fun. I think this bike right now is retailing for $16.99 plus tax. It may be a little less than that right now. I don't know. I'll have to check. But I'll put that on, down in the description box for you. And, uh, yeah, it's been a beast. I've probably put almost 1,900 miles as I'm looking at the uh, display here on it already. I expect to get three to 5,000 miles on this bike. This bike I will never sell. This is one of the bikes that um, it's got meaning to me, shall we say. Um, it's still my favorite bike, and I've had so many of them. And I've done a lot of additional stuff to the bikes as far as the tires, the, um, the rotors, the, uh, in, the tubes inside the tires. I've changed that out, the pedals, uh, with all the accessories in the cockpit. I've done most of that. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great bike. So anyway, that's a little bit of basics, about a 20-inch. I'll also talk about a 26-inch bike for you. I highly recommend a bike of this style for seniors because of the step-through area. And I've got comments on my channel where people think, well, you're not getting any exercise on an e-bike. You most certainly are. On a 30-mile ride, I can burn about 1,000 to 1,200 calories with an e-bike, and I'm 225 pounds. You will certainly get exercise. Don't let anybody tell you any different. But yeah, if you got any comments, put them down in the comment section and... Uh, let me know what you guys uh, want me to review. If I see if I can get a bike company to send one to me to review for you. It's not always uh, possible, but sometimes it is. You guys have more weight to these uh, bike companies for uh, us creators, content creators, because you are viewing our channel, and they, they know you're viewing our channel. They're more than likely going to possibly send us a bike or really give us a really big discount on the bike as well. So, yeah. I want you guys to share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for uh, any uh, future videos, and I will see you on the next video. Hello, everyone. I want to talk about a couple other things that I forgot to put in on the uh, previous video about the bike. And uh, I did want to mention that you can also buy these handlebars um, that'll go in and out for you with the stem itself. This one's got an adjustment where I can pull it back or go forward. I really like that. I uh, failed to mention that on the bike here. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to purchase this bike, uh, I'll put a link down in the description box to this bike. And um, I think if you uh, put eBike Nation as a discount code, uh, I'll make a little commission off of it, and you folks will also uh, save a little money on the bike. As I mentioned for a senior, with this step-through area right here, I would definitely highly recommend this bike for a senior or somebody with disabilities. Again, I'm 72 years old, and uh, this bike is so easy for me to get off and on and ride that uh, I just really love the bike of uh, all the bikes I own, again, this is my favorite. So anyway, I want you guys to, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Share and like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for any future videos coming out, and I'll see you on the next Garage Adventure.